Hi, good evening everyone. Today we are going to talk about six different words in our grammar session. Four words are sounding similar, with similar meaning in vernacular. These words are on, above, upon, and over. The meaning in vernacular is almost the same sounding. On a looper, above a looper, upon a looper, over a looper. But when you are going to apply <clears throat> in English orthography, in any kind of sentence, then you are going to find out that you have to apply different words to give the different connotation. All four words, on, above, upon, over, don't give the same connotation, only same sound. Upper, 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 upper. Meaning is different, application is different, connotation is different, the spirit of the word is different, meaning of the word is different. So, these are the four words we are going to elaborate. Two more words are under and beneath. They look like synonyms, but in the sentence you are going to find out exactly how we should use it, how exactly they are applied, what the connotation is, what kind of sentence we can apply into, every single thing will be elaborated, everything would be transparent. So first of all, we are going to go into on. On means upar. But adine paleli vastu mate. Je prasu ja padi hoy adine. Tiare apne kahin chhe on. Table upar, kursi upar, jamin upar on. For example, never place a book on the dirty place. America had bombarded Hiroshima Nagasaki with little boy and fat man on Japan. People usually like to sit on the floor and enjoy their meal. In Indian villages, students still sit on the floor seeking education. So this is on whenever you are or your thing is touching the ground. At that time you can use on. Next one is above. Pronunciation would be the same. Upar. Paranto. Uthini sapadiji uchai mapa mate. We are going to use above. Example, Gracia. Everest is 8,848 meters above the terra firma. Second, the Statue of Unity is around 183 meters above the ground of Gujarat. So when you are going to measure the distance between bottom and the top, at that time you are going to use above, upar. Third one is upon. Pronunciation is upar. But it is Figurative upar, figurative, not literary. Fakta bolwa mate, apne khali bodi chhe upar. Ma baboni vato upar, dharm upar, tamari jat upar vishwas rakho. This kind of sentences can be formed using upon. For instance, have profound confidence upon your own potential. Second, always lend your ears upon parental wishes. Gandhiji had never 
depended upon British political policies, that is, upon. Now over, same sounding meaning, upar, parantu, je vastu, tachitati na hoi, je vastu, दूर हो ऊपर ताराओ अपना माता ऊपर भरे छे पक्षियों शहर ने ऊपर उड़े छे पंखो अपना माता ऊपर something which is not actually touching the object that kind of sentences can be used by over for example example in Russia is fan oscillates over our head violently. Birds always oscillate over the city area. Planes always fly over the cloud. Over. When something does not touch, there is no any kind of direct touching connection between two, then we are going to use over. Now we are moving into under. In Gujarati, vernacular meaning is hetar. Chichra pana mate. Jare koi vasu undi nadi hoti, chichi hoi chit yare apne table ni under, kusi ni under hetar. So, example ke shay is fish swim under the current of the ocean under. Water is extracted from under the ground. These are the examples of under. Now we are moving into beneath. Beneath means Nietzsche. We are talking about depth. Undan mate. For example, mammoth marines swim beneath the oceanic current. Moti machlio. Dariai Mojauni Niche Tare Che. Oil is extracted from beneath the ground. Lava and Megma will be found beneath the belly of the earth. So these are the six worlds, very vital, pivotal, and paramount worlds to understand them in their proper context. Using English words, English diction, English lexicon in a proper context and a proper way is the only the best way to learn proper English without making any kind of error in orthography. So that's all time we have all above, upon, over, under, and beneath. Don't forget, we are going to talk about something tomorrow until then. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.